Hello YouTube, it's time to continue with the Z axis build. And as you can see, I now mounted some black screws here. Went and bought some really cheap ones, but uh, nice to have some with uh, Allen key heads at least. So I will change these ones out as well. These ones too. So what needs to be done now is to mill out a small pocket so that the, the screw head will come down a bit the spindle holders will be placed on top here so this surface here needs to be pretty flat then i need to tap these holes here uh, and drill some holes here in the spindle holders for for these holes and then um, perhaps make it a bit uh, better looking uh, it's tempting to face the surface off, it will look nice, but uh, my router table isn't really flat, so um, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be too good, so I will have to to stay away from that. That will be later when my manual mill is up and running. But enough talking and uh, let's do something. So I will now attempt to drill some holes for for the spindle holders and the plan is to um, I have one, two, three holes on each side of each spindle holder and the plan is to drill two at first um, these ones should be M6 and then drill them up to six and a half in the spindle holder so that I can get some wiggle room to set it straight then drill the two final ones uh, when the holders are set straight um, at the exact dimension and that will lock them exactly where they should be hopefully at least I will give it a try so let's see how it goes I'm now eyeballed it in and uh, Mounted these type of clamps. Bought these for a while ago. I didn't like them at the beginning, but I'm super ha happy about them right now. Since they are so small, and so in case one needs to drill really close here, they are just super. Um, I think that I will ditch the center punching and drill straight away down here. Uh, in two of the holes so I will get some steering down so I will try and do that So I like to start off with these ones, these are usually for CNC or machining, but uh, they're kind of good to start out with. Then I change on to some regular drills. This is a new kind of set, it was 50 bucks and uh, I didn't ex expect too much of the drills, but they're actually super good, so that's nice. Now, mounted and test fitted the screws so it's time to remove them and put this plate here on the router i cleaned out a lot of uh, chips so it's pretty clean right now i've been measuring a bit to see if it's possible to face the part off to get it a bit better looking um yeah Right, so I will use the same strategy as when I did the holes, uh, except for I will change to a larger end mill to a 6mm two fluter. And then I also checked this box here, stock to leave, and 
was able to type in a negative value. I didn't know that, so that might be good to know in case uh, you don't know about that. So then it's possible to use the same holes, uh, but to make it make them a bit larger. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, I will see if I will face uh, the uh, aluminium plate off. I don't know. I think it's uh, straighter as it is or flatter as it is, but uh, it would be nice to have it uh, a bit better looking. So I might do that anyways and then reface it on the manual millator to get it flat. Right. I mounted the aluminium piece on the table and um, it's uh, leveled in. The program is loaded in Mach 3 so I'm warming up the spindle a bit but uh, I think it's time to, to get going. So I will put in the camera into the enclosure and then I will raise up spindle speed to 16,000 and then press run. So I'm almost done with 50% uh, of the operation. Uh, feed rate is about 200 millimeters per minute, so it goes pretty slow. Spin the speed is currently 68,100, and uh, the operation has been going on in uh, for 54 minutes now. So I got about uh, an hour. Uh, to do so I don't really dare to leave this uh, one unwatched or unattended so uh, I did find this uh, sun seat here so I'm currently sitting and doing some uh, studying I do study medicine but uh, this ain't too noisy and uh, with some good ear protection it works just fine Kind of relaxing actually to sit and do something and uh, know that uh, this machine here does something else during the time so but uh, i want to record more of the mill but uh, it will do for me i did have to use these type of screws that i didn't like since they were of the correct length and um, my budget doesn't really allow to buying every length of screw that I need so I have to compromise here and there but uh, I think this uh, this plate here will be pretty stuck anyways these four holes I forget to to make I don't know why but I guess that um, my brother and my father was watching what I doing and then I was a bit uh, out of focus so I did these four by hand but it worked out great as well so if we place the the spindle and the spindle holders it will look like this um, and um, I need to drill um, one hole in the middle here on each speed spindle holder mm. on each side this one but I will do that when I have uh, trammed the spindle in sideways to get it uh, get it a bit more right So there we have it. 
is a pretty heavy piece and um, I have uh, what shall be the X axis uh, here so let's place it on top of it and see how it looks So there we have it. So um, these ones just needs to be tightened to this one, and uh, this plate here needs to be uh, tightened into this one, but from this side. So that that will go pretty fast I think um, only hard thing that is left is to drill the holes uh, through here to mount uh, the Z axis on the X axis rail block um, I don't have uh, very much uh, uh, space here outside rail but uh, I have 12 millimeters and um, the um, uh, milled out uh, pocket for the screw head needs to be 10 millimeters so I will have one millimeter on each side here um, but inside here I will have plenty of space so I think it will will um, work pretty good even though it might look a bit sketchy having these screws uh, placed such uh, far out here on the sides also have some uh, some bevel protection or what it's called um, I will try to come up with something so that uh, I don't ruin the rails and uh, there is a lot of aluminium uh, dust a bit here and there, so I will have to tear everything apart before assembling it and clean everything um, off. Alright, but uh, I will continue with uh, this build in the next video after Christmas, so hopefully I will put this one on the router very soon. See you, take care.